Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Totem Pole Season 2 reunion, where we are spilling the tea. You could say a totem tea. Here with me, I have Jace. What's up? It's your boy, Jace. <laughs> Just Kindle. Hello. Ashlyn. Hey. And Caleb. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my bedroom. This is for sleep. <laughs> Your bedroom's too clean, I'm just gonna say. So as you can see, we're all in quarantine right room. now and on Zoom, and we're going to talk about season two and answer some of the questions that you sent in. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Ashlyn, you're up first. Ja, Javi.mr asks, who was your biggest rival? Okay, so I don't feel like I had a rival, but if I had, like, internal conflict, like, Alantis, of course, would, like, be the first to be named of, like, a rival of mine, but that was, like, not even a rival until, like, I was gone. So, like, an internal rival, someone I probably would have turned on, I love her, but I would have turned on Hannah. I've always said if she would have given me, like, power or save, I would have taken power because she was a threat to me. So she was an unspoken rival, I guess. You felt have you ever told her? Hannah this? No. I think I said it at one point in, like, interviews or something, but it never, I think, got released or anything. I text her just now, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. I said I loved her first, so that's like means no hard feelings, right? <laughs> okay, moving on to the next question. This one is for Kindle, and it is from John underscore Sutton underscore twenty. Is there anything you regret doing? Hmm. Yes. Um. I go back and forth about this and watching today the live stream of like that episode. I don't know if we need to give context to that or anything, but um, I don't regret being me because that sucks if you regret that. But I do regret, I guess, walking even close to Athena. <laughs> <laughs> like interacting with her at all or speaking i guess because you or shoved saying her, anything you? um i don't know i just wish that i didn't come across as because uh, i was just trying to be fun and like you know you're gonna take advantage of the time that you're on totem pole you're not gonna be boring and like sit in the corner and not be fun so i don't regret that i just i don't know Guess I wouldn't have gotten so like nervous or scared and like freaked out because I did kind of freak out towards like the end there a little bit. But I don't know. I guess not. Um, I guess I regret speaking. Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> We've all made that Kendall, mistake you before. Have you can't before. regret speaking. I just wish I would have like played it a little bit lower at the at the beginning at least. Like, I don't even think I remember you coming on, like, like too strong. But maybe that's just because, like, I know you. I don't know. Yeah, I think because I've thought about this and I've, like, read some people's, not criticism, but just, like, what they would have done. And it's, like, at the beginning, nobody knows anybody. Well, like, people know people, but... Nobody wants to, like, make the first move or, you know, like, put somebody, like, out there, except for Athena, who did. And like, nobody else knew who to, like, who to vote out. And so they're just going to follow what Athena did because she was, like, the leader of that pack and had the only opinion. And sadly, that was not in my favor for a really s sucky reason, but whatever. In your defense, I made a push for, for Rachel at the beginning. Yeah, uh, me too. We both did. 
Is there a we name? were the only two. Yeah, being thrown around. I don't really know why. I know like some alliances being talked about, like with like you and Caleb, I think a little bit and stuff like that. So I think mm-hmm. like there was like, oh, they've already got an alliance or whatever. But retrospectively, we all should have voted Rachel. Am I right? Um, yes. I know, I know I did at the very beginning, and then I, I did too. We were the only two votes for her. Yeah, and so I don't get that. She said it was a one vote difference. Yeah, and I mean, I guess she was thinking smart to vote <laughs> to vote for me, <laughs> even though I didn't want to vote for her. I am happy for voting for Morgan. Not happy, but I like I slept fine that evening. I didn't because then I felt bad for calling out Evan. I was gonna but... say, did you? <laughs> Why do you feel bad for calling Evan out though? I was so like the second that I found out that it wasn't him, I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I feel so bad." And then I cried and Facebook messaged him and apologized. <laughs> you weren't wrong. You cried. I wouldn't have apologized. Um, so upset. You, you, I've cared. Your statement came from misinformation however you weren't wrong you know what i'm saying like it's like when you get do a, the, the math question wrong but still get the right answer you know like yeah. your math wrong, you can't right. yeah there you go maybe a little bit better but Whew. you weren't wrong <clears throat> all right next question is for caleb okay brandon underscore belk asks who were you the most excited to see leave? Um, thank you for a great question, Brandon. Um, I appreciate you giving me some love because I mean, I'm not trying to throw myself a pity party here, but sometimes I feel like I'm an underrated player on the show, <laughs> even though I'm I would agree. a good player. Um, so thanks, Brandon. Who was I most excited to see go? I think I would probably have to say, um, pro- can I choose two? I'm going to choose two. Um, <laughs> probably Morgan H, just because I was so upset with the pity party that he threw <laughs> and just like baby in the corner, like in timeout, just like wallow fest. And I get it. Like I was uncomfortable and like new to it. And it was also like 7 a.m. and it was a lot, so I, I I understand it. It's just, it was annoying to see. Um, so I was glad to see that go. <clears throat> also, when, I don't, I, I wouldn't say that I was necessarily like excited to see Carlos go, but like when he started to get into hot water and just went kind of balls to the wall and just like started <laughs> <laughs> like, like throwing everyone everywhere, I was like, okay you got to go. And so I was happy to see Carlos go for that reason as well. Although I will say it made for um, entertaining viewing and playing. Um, but everyone's a poor kid. It did not work out for him. I don't know if it was a strategy or what, but it was a bad He does that strategy. when he plays. He, just, he, he just does got, that. Hmm. It's his strategy. Oof. Yeah. It didn't work this time around. So It's not a good one. I'm fair with all right, Jace. Yes. You're getting the next question. It is from Dap Slap. And they <laughs> <laughs> That is a funny name. Solid name. Did you ever doubt your strategies in the game? Huh. Uh Dap Slap. Um if you knew me, you would probably already know the answer. And that's no. <laughs> um, and I think everybody here would uh, agree with that, that I typically don't doubt my strategies until, uh, you know, it's all over with and hindsight is 2020. Um, th- there was one moment when I, I doubted myself and it was at the very end. Um, and when I, when everything went down with Rachel and Hannah and I realized that, uh, um, she was going to pick Rachel over me. And that's when I, I doubted everything I had done. I was like, what, how everything from like, was just like, I felt like the floor was swept out from under me. Um, and I'm not here to just sit here and crap on them all night. So 
Um, th that was one moment. Um, I doubted my strategy when I was making the push to get Val out because I didn't know if I could convince everybody that like I was going to be safe and they should vote someone else because like, Oh wait, it would be a waste to vote for me. Cause they had the votes. Like I should have went home. Um, so I was doubting that strategy and I felt like that was a pretty bold move on my part. Um, but it worked out. And so I guess, uh, you know, it just reinforces this thing I have where I don't typically doubt myself. Yikes. Uh, did that just come out of my mouth? That was terrible. <laughs> um, um, anyway, so yeah, there you go. Not a bad thing. Yeah. All right. I the Val strategy because Val was the only was the person who voted for me to leave first. So I did I didn't mind the Val strategy. Yeah. I got you, fam. I also think that we talked about this on live the other day. I said if Rachel would have taken you or a Hannah would have taken you to the final, like you would have won. Like, we would have all voted for you. Yeah. So it was like, because you had a target on your back the whole game and you survived to the top three, like, you would have won. So that's actually a question for a general question. I'll go ahead and open the floor on that. Bob Buckleberry asks. <laughs> I love that name. Would Jason have won if he was in the final three? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't disagree. I think a solid player, a solid person, a solid friend, a, a fan solid person, a fan of all the of all of our fans. I think he would have, and rightfully it's so. Yeah, boy, big daddy. He it's your boy, <laughs> big daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that would that have given Jace too much clout, though? I don't. I'm not sure. So, Jace, would that have given you too much clout? Um. It, clout like going forward <laughs> like giving me too much of a big yeah. game and he already has one. yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> i mean I, honestly um i you know obviously like would like to say that i think i would have won um in a battle between hannah and alantis like i don't think it would have been too hard to show that i um had at least more to battle against, um, you know, than the, either of them had. Um, but like, you know, I think, I think that would have been the way I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have wanted to throw in either of them under the bus. Um, but yeah, I would like to say I would have won, but yeah, you're right. Like I'd, I'd have the biggest freaking head about it. I've never, I, I barely shut up about how well I did as it is. And I got fourth, fifth, whatever. So like, <laughs> you know, so you're right about that. You you know me. I respect well. it. I respect it. I respect it. All right. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and ask Kendall a question. Who would you have voted for to win if you were on the jury? Um, Rachel. <laughs> um, I just think now this is hard. Because I wasn't there all day. <laughs> <laughs> For approximately an hour and a half. <laughs> and cried and Facebook messaged Evan. But during that, <laughs> I was playing the game. <laughs> so I don't really know. But from what I heard, and I don't know all the, you know, behind the scenes stuff. But I think that she played the smartest game from the beginning. Like she knew what she wanted and you could tell, like Rachel and I are friends and where she was smart and like was thinking about the numbers and decided to vote me out that first round, <clears throat> was thinking about, no, oh, this is gonna sound like I think she's mean. I don't think she's mean, but I was like worried about like, oh, I don't wanna make any of my friends upset I'm going to be able to look them in the eye when I vote Morgan. Reach out. I totally respect Rachel. This is not like anything against her at all. I was just like, she's, she was just thinking the whole time. And she like won a bunch of competitions and who she was up against. I think she totally deserved to win. So I would have voted for Rachel. If she had been sitting beside Jace, would that have changed anything for you? Yeah. I mean, to be completely honest, I don't really know. Like, I don't want to.
want to say this. I didn't, it was, it was almost like too hard to watch the rest of the season because if anybody out there knows the Enneagram, <laughs> I'm a seven and have the biggest FOMO of all time. And it was just like, it sucked not being there. And so, I don't know. To watch it back was hard. Yeah, it was. Um, I'm going to be That's honest. That's understandable. After I got cut, I couldn't watch it either. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, it, from it was hard to watch. I was like, I don't want to watch this. I, I, I said this on a live, uh, like, not a while ago, but a couple days ago, I think. I have not watched my elimination. Like, I get to the don't say aw, and then I have to cut it off because it's so cringe and I'm so embarrassed. Like, I haven't watched it. So, this is... Did you see it today on the stream? Huh? Or did you leave? <laughs> I got to the don't say aw. <laughs> 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 I, like, I, like, I left, and then I, like, waited for a little bit, and then I came back just to get through that part. So, I don't know. All right, moving on. Ashlyn? Yeah. Snuffed.extra asks a little bit of an extra question. Let's see where this goes. Hmm. What is a relationship or event that happened but did not make the edit? Mine and Kendall's friendship. <laughs> that is really true. Yeah, we, like, love each other. I, like it. I feel like our friendship didn't get the airtime that it needed because... <clears throat> left. you left but also I was like I don't feel like me like like begging and pleading for them to not vote for you made the cut I like literally was sitting in that room and I was like no guys like don't vote for Kendall like don't vote for Kayla because Caleb's name got thrown around too like I get that there's so much um, there's only so much footage that can be shown but like I sat in that room and I was like don't do it. I said, vote for Rachel. Mm -hmm. And I, I pleaded and I said, we don't know what Rachel's game is. We don't know. And I sat there and I listed all the things. And for some reason, I don't think it got made it. And so like the footage of me, but the footage of us in the bathroom made it me being like, Oh guys, like, don't worry. It made me look like boo boo the fool. <laughs> Being like, guys, don't worry. Don't worry. It's not happening. Because I had just left feeling good. Because I was like, oh, guys, don't worry. I just was in there. And nothing's going on. I, I shut it down. I felt good. I felt good going into that vote. Wrong. The second that door shut, Athena was like, she's going exactly to control Caleb right now. And you know what? I did because I'm loyal. And I will say, I was loyal to my alliances, even if they were unspoken. Yeah, really well, I gotta say. I know I keep talking about the beginning, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> where we're at. Like, that first round, all of us, except for Morgan H., <laughs> were planning to working, like, planning on working together. And so that just like ruined it, like ruined everything, obviously. Yep. But I was, was so sad when Kendall left. I wanted to cry. <laughs> also, I know this like don't say all on all thing, like <laughs> I'm saying it's really embarrassing. <laughs> but <laughs> I really, when I was like upset, I really thought like everybody was saying all. But I think it was just you guys who were actually <laughs> I think it was like me and Caleb. Being like, I think so. No. I, I was like, <laughs> so it was like very intentional awes. Yeah. Just like at the time, I thought it was people who like literally five seconds before had just said my name to vote me out. And they were like, ah. Like, <laughs> that was my No. I don't have anything to say. Uh oh. What's my happening? awe turned into an <gasps> it went from awe <gasps> whatever <laughs> <laughs> this 
snake comment. I mean, if, if genuinely and thoroughly, like, if there was any reaction of mine in all of season two that was, like, the most sincere, it was whenever <laughs> Kendall made the snake comment. I went, oh! <gasps> my jaw just <laughs> dropped for a solid five minutes. I, I, I think we both did. Of me having my jaw on the floor for five minutes, but... Oh, it was it was really something. I you think said, I mean it is sad. <laughs> is that, I said that. Yeah, you were like it's sad, and then she was like, "It is sad." <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. Uh, Caleb B Moore underscore two thousand and four. Oh, that kind of rhymes. B Moore from two thousand and four. All right, B Moore <laughs> underscore two thousand four <laughs> asks Caleb. <laughs> What do you think was the best moment of the entire season? Um, B more underscore 2004. Thanks again for the great question for representing an underrated player. Um, I will. That, that's the last I'm going to say of it. I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm just leaving. No, <laughs> no, don't stop. Don't stop. It's you are of... underrated, Caleb. I think the best moment of season two was <laughs> – <laughs> was um when wait who oh yes was when athena and hannah did the challenge between the trees <laughs> so underrated because you know what we were so shook caleb grabbed me no one yeah, saw it, but I Caleb like literally was away. holding me. He was like, what is going on? Literally was like jumping up and down, like holding me. And I was like, I'm suffocating right now. It was an intense moment. It was scary. I'm not going to lie. It was really intense. I just knew it was going to happen the second. Who picked them? It was a random draw for those two. Okay. I knew the second they got chosen, I was like, this is about to get crazy. Because of the two most, like, <laughs> intense girls. I said, they're about to wrestle. <laughs> like, and they I did. don't know. It got wild. It was a wild time. It Saw from, too much skin. It went from G-rated to uh, PG-13 <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> the, what are the WWE girl wrestlers called? The, like, um, divas? They look like divas. Oh, God. <laughs> I said, oh, we doing this now. Okay. I agree. That was a good one. That was a good one, Caleb. Right. I, I agree. I agree. Didn't, didn't know what you were going to say. To, Matt. to make sure there wasn't any shots of things that are not appropriate for YouTube. That oh I God. saw. That I seriously saw with my eyeballs. <laughs> I saw that. I never saw anything. I saw everything. I actually sent that edit to Hannah and Athena for them to approve it. And I actually, they actually sent back requests. They were like, mm -mm, change this, change that, change it. So I, I edited it, resent it, and then they approved what I actually made the edit. I wish that you would have gotten our reaction. Because our reaction <laughs> to it, honestly, would have made it like what it actually was, I think. What you screamed, when y'all screamed, one of the cameras shot around and caught some of it some of the reaction but not the the whole one. Oh, it was intense it was. all right, right next question nice. this oh. hold on hold on hold on hold on i would just also like to point out that had i not fallen i would have made it to the tree before jace <clears throat> fight 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 jace do you agree no i don't agree <laughs> of course he doesn't agree <laughs> oh no, i don't agree but like I, here's what I'll say. I, w I, I had a harder time with Caleb than I did with Jorge. And, and none of the footage reflects this. None of the footage reflects this, okay? But I hit hey. Caleb, and it was like, like hitting a brick wall. Like, Caleb is solid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like, like Jorge like, carried you, Jace. You were dragged. Oh, you second. were dragged by Jorge. I'll that in a second. So I hit Caleb, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm going to have a hard time, like – Moving this sucker. <laughs> and so then, like, you know, fortunately he slipped and we'll never know who would have won had he not, you know, I'm going to say it was me. Um, Rematch. With Jorge, if you go back and look at the footage, I'm beating him. Like, I am pushing him back. And then he, like, jerks around and I slip. And that's when he falls. And then he drags me because he winds up landing on top. 
okay? So, like, yeah, he dragged me, but at the same time, I was winning until I slipped. So, like, like Caleb said, had like I not Caleb. slipped, I would have I would have beat him. If he had landed on his back, or, yeah, then you would have been able to carry back, him. I would have won. You know, so it's just, like, the chips fell where they did. did. You know, me and Caleb did. both wound up losing. Um, but I will, I'll, I'll say, like, I feel like Caleb – um, I'm telling you, hit Caleb felt like Caleb's in a brick wall. Like that dude's solid. <laughs> like, I'm like Caleb's already, a runner. Took me back to my football days. Like I really was like, oh freaking a. Like I'm not, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> so um, here we go. All right, Jace <clears throat> Seb Shep Two K Twenty asks, Mr. Jace, <laughs> who was your least favorite person in the season? <laughs> Mr. Chase, I wouldn't say I dislike anybody on the season. And I want to, and I think like you know who I like and dislike is a a hard word um, because there's there's people that I um, you know dislike for different reasons. Um, so like there's um, like Rachel, like. I dislike her for the move she made on me at the end. But frankly, like I have to own so much, like a certain amount of that. Um, you know, I, um, if we're just strictly who I generally like and dislike, um, I got to where I really disliked Athena because she was coming for me round after round after round. Um, that has nothing to do with how she played the game because she played a very hard game. Um, and I'm, I'm really, you know, have to be, I have to respect that, you know, she, she did well. Um, but just like coming for me, like she did, you know, kind of annoying. I made me not like her. Um, but if I was going to dislike somebody for their gameplay, I, it would have to be like Alanis, you know, because yeah. <laughs> still to this day, I'm going to wave the flag that that girl didn't have any game. Okay? <laughs> she was along for the ride and wound up sitting at the end. Yes. Um, and she is really well liked. And she's very well liked. And so, you know, and, and it, listen, I love Alonis. Me and her are good friends. We you'll have like we text every now and then, like me and Alonis are good friends. So this isn't me disliking her. This is me disliking her game. Um so And y'all will get to talk about her game in the next part of the reunion, which is the final five. Oh Lord. So y'all will get to talk about that debacle with that placement and the Lord, secret advantage. Debacle. <laughs> mm. Debacle. <laughs> there you go. All right, I have two final questions, and this is for everyone. The floor will be open, and you can all just discuss it. Also, we have seven minutes remaining, just so everyone's aware. All right. Kevin2712435 asks, were you positively or negatively affected by the fan response and how so? It was pretty cool. Um, I was super nervous because obviously like before we had all got, like we all got announced as like being a part of the cast, like we all knew how the season played out. And I was scared of coming across of too, as too much. I wonder why. But you're not. Um, but, like, when people, like, seem to <laughs> – this is, sounds so gross. But when people seem to vibe with that um, – sorry. That sounded so gross. Um, I don't vibe. It was really cool. And then I was just, like, like, whenever they would be, like, you know, giving me compliments and stuff <laughs> as we're watching episode two, and then slowly just like seeing their comments be like, oh, oh no, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> having to be like, sorry. <laughs> that was fun. But people are say, really cool sometimes. The strangest thing for me has not, I guess it's not really been positive or negative, it's been kind of weirdly neutral. And this is very specific. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this. But in the new people in my life that I have met and who have followed me on social media since this happened, they, like, on my tagged photos page on Instagram, there's just a <laughs> solid, like, chunk yes. where it's just, like, fan art or, like, mosaics <laughs> of all of our headshots. And he, these people will be like, what? Like, what is that? Like, what? <laughs> yes. Why? I'm so confused. And so then I have to I also it. get that. Uh, it's, it's funny for the most part. 
Um, I've loved all the fan interaction that I've had, positive, negative. I love it all, you know. Uh, I, I love my haters, you know, because I like messing <laughs> with them and give them more to hate. Uh, everybody who supports me, I love them even more, uh, you know. So, like, really haven't had a bad fan interaction. So, yeah. I love to hear it. And it makes me feel good to know that, like – I know that it's scary. I mean, I myself was on camera. Every time my face comes on, my stomach sinks, at least for the first, like, when you I sit down it. to watch it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so I understand it. And it's kind of surreal to know that there's, like, thousands and thousands of people who are watching. But they're not only watching. They're analyzing how you're playing. They're analyzing, you know, your interactions and your relationships with other people. But it's what makes the Totem Pole such a family and helps us grow and what brings everyone together and for me personally I love to see that this group of people are getting to open up a window into our lives a little bit for a lot of people to all relate to it or whatever yeah that was <laughs> okay <laughs> all right What's one the last more question <laughs> last question and this one, I feel like might be my favorite. There's also two and a half minutes remaining. What did you learn about yourself from playing the totem pole? Let me go first. I know. <laughs> um, I learned that I take things so personally. <laughs> but it might be hard to not take things personally when it's about your personality. That's true. But I take things so personally and then it like sits with me. <laughs> like watching today, it kind of like brought everything back up. I've been like on the edge oh. all day. Um, I learned that I talk out of the side of my mouth a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like I talk like this. And I don't know, like I just analyze that about myself. That's about it. I learned to not take myself too seriously because I tend to do that a lot and I don't let myself have enough fun. So <laughs> that's a good one. Love that. Love that. Me too. Um, I learned that I'm incredibly lanky uh, and awkward looking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think something I knew about myself already was confirmed and that's just that I'm pretty full of myself. Um, but at the same time, like, it's also just this persona that I have. Um, and if you actually, like, I don't know, on camera, it really comes out bad. So, anyway. Thank you all so much for joining. And thank everyone for watching. It really does mean the world to us that you support this show the way you do. We love you so, so much. And, yeah, stay tuned for season three coming out soon. Bye, guys. Bye. See y'all.